Hello guys, what's up and welcome to another update of Red Alliance. It's been like three months since the previous update, but this update I'm actually bringing a lot of new cool stuff. So to begin with, this is the updated version of the main menu and it has been gradually remade as you can see. First of all, uh, I have uh, like applied new substance materials that uh, me and a friend of mine have made for my, like the rest of the levels and just some general general materials. But the coolest thing is, uh, I have finally came around to remaking the HUD and uh, the UI in the game. So right now I'm using Unity 5 UI, I mean Unity 4.6 UI, uh, rather than using Unity's default GUI system. So uh, it looks a lot better in my opinion. So I have also remade the title of the game, the, way, the color and uh, the, the font itself. So now it looks like that and it looks really cool. I've also added uh, tone mapping, uh, SSR and other image effects uh, to the game. But some of them are disabled, such as the SSR, because that thing takes up a lot of performance. So let's take a look at this. Uh, I have remade the settings menus as well. I've added a bunch of uh, new stuff as well, such as the controls tab. Uh, I've updated the video settings and pretty much a lot of new cool stuff. I'm not going to mess with them, but uh, they do work, I assure you, because they do, like you can now change. I've I updated some of the values, some of them didn't work before, but now they do, so now everything you see here is working perfectly fine. Uh, in global settings I've added uh, more stuff as well, I've added more parameters that you can change around and, and switch, uh, such as the player graph, I can actually disable that, but I don't need it, but that's pretty much like a panel down here that shows some statistics, so I'll disable that for now. Uh, I've added the subtitles to the game, so that's really cool. So now pretty much the important dialogues, such as in prison and in other levels, you will see subtitles appear if you have this enabled. Uh, I've made an option to disable the sniper scope. Uh, I mean, not disable the sniper scope, but uh, the, the 3D version of it. So you can pretty much, if it's disabled, it will be a 2D sniper scope. I'll show you in the game, don't worry. Uh, I've also added a bunch of other things, such as auto pickup weapons and right hand and the HUD. So let's get right into the gameplay. So, uh, let's start with a new game. Uh, I've added the remaining levels and I've added the prologue, but however the prologue is not complete yet, so I'm not going to show you that just yet, and uh, that's why it's also disabled at the moment. So today what I'm going to do is, this is the plan for today, I'm going to show you uh, the updated prison and the city levels, because a lot of stuff has been changed there, and they will be also changed later on. But I will, what I'll also do is, I'll show you some short footages of uh, these levels, the, these three levels which I haven't shown before to you. So, I'm not going to show you the full gameplay of, of them like I normally do in Prison and City, but I'll just show you like the fragments and uh, the short moments so you get the general idea of what's happening there, but you won't be like getting the full idea of what's happening, so you still have like this, I don't know, so you will still feel like you want to play it in the end. So, let's right get into this, let's just start with um, Grand Escape. Now what I've also done is, I've added a loading screen, now this is just like a temporary loading screen, um, obviously I'll change it because this is just like a screenshot with some magnetic around it, but uh, I will like update them I guess, and I'll actually add uh, a loading bar or like a percentage bar or something that will show how much it's loaded and uh, it will be more decorated and it will look a lot better, this is just like a temporary example just to show you that you guys, that there is a loading screen because until now I haven't had one and the game would just freeze kind of, well it wouldn't really freeze but it, it would seem like it's frozen and uh, while it was loading in the background. Now the loadings, they do, they do take like a lot of time to load purely because uh, yeah, they, I, I'm, because yeah, I have substances in the levels and that's why it takes a, a while to load. Now this now this is the example of the subtitles. Right, so you can see, uh, now pretty much the important speeches, or like the speeches of characters, they result the subtitles up here, and uh, I think that's pretty cool. Now what I've also done is, I have uh, remade the player HUD, so right now it used to be yellow as you remember, but right now it's uh, red and white, which is the theme of the game right now, it's be, it's, it was changed to red and white. And what actually I'm going to do is, I'm going to give myself some, some oh what the fuck, <laughs> I'm going to give myself some weapons so I can uh, progress through the level uh, a lot quicker, and show you more stuff in a short amount of time. So what I, what I can also show you is um, the AK texture has been remade by Renardo. So let me show you this in, a, in the sunlight as I walk over here. 
So this weapon looks a lot better now. It looks a lot cleaner, and it is, it is a lot more detailed as you can see. Now there is what's also been remade is uh, the M4 model itself. Like also Renardo made remade that, and it looks really nice. I think. Just look at that. Well, I'll show you uh, when I pick it up. Actually, let me do it now. Oh yeah, and now the people, these guys, they do now Death Town, so I've added a lot of new sounds as well. So this is the new M4, it, it looks absolutely amazing, I love it, it's insanely detailed, like, is it probably one of the best looking guns in the game right now? Unfortunately, I'm not playing on the highest settings resolution, so you can't see the full potential of, uh, of this M4, but it's using 4K maps, and uh, it's insanely detailed, and I love it. Uh, actually, what I'm also going to do is, I'm going to give a uh, weapon 2-pack, oh, misspelled that. Fuck, okay, weapons 2, no, there. So what is what's also new is, uh, is the um, new pistol. Now this is MP4 for 3, go die, don't want to listen to you. I'll just go in this room and, qui and quickly progress to the new level. So this pistol, uh, this is now the replacement of the Glock, because you used to have a Glock before and... Uh, the Glock was really outdated and we didn't want to remake it, so we decided to use. So we decided to use the MP4 for 3 instead. And it's a really cool gun, it's also really detailed. And let's go to the next level, so I'll show you the updates there. Now, what you have more also may notice is uh, the, the lighting has been remade once again in the prison and it's been heavily updated. Now, if you remember back uh, before in previous updates, this used to be like a midday, it used to be like. Yeah, it used to be really sunny and it used to be really bright, but I remade it to be in evening time. So it's so it's a lot more. The shadows are a lot more directional, and the lighting I feel like it's better. But let me show you some other cool things. So let me show you the auto weapon pickup. So if I drop the weapon with my growl and shit, well, not the grenade, but like anything pretty much. Uh, if you walk over them right now with auto pickup, he'll just pick them up like that. Now you can enable or disable that depending on how you want to play, but you can still pick the weapon up by pressing E. So if the weapon is too far away, you just look at it and you press E, and he'll still pick it up. So it still works. It's just more dynamic the way it works right now. So let's get going. Uh, I'll show you the new other stuff. So yeah. Uh, hey, somebody take him out. As you can see, also. Uh, all the enemies right now, they now speak and they do like a call out and shit and uh, pretty much the game became a lot more alive, I tried to make it a lot more alive but what I've also done is I've added stuff like key cards now that uh, enable you unlocking uh, certain stuff for example uh, unlocking these uh, access panels I guess, I'm not sure what they're called and the same with doors, now some certain doors uh, require a key to be opened so you would need to look for a key or something like that so yeah, these guys, they speak a lot, and also, um, let me just pause the game for a second here, alright, so let's continue. Uh, so let's get going, what I'm actually going to do is, so that door also, like, not the door, but that gate, also requires a keycard to be opened, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pick up a keycard here, obviously I'm going to change the position in the, in the, of it in the end, but uh, I put it there temporarily, because I'm, what I'm actually going to do is, I'm going to remake the escape be like scene in this uh, well I'm gonna just I mean, I'll just update this uh, scene a lot and remake it all well, partially oh my god they're shouting so much yeah <laughs> they even say when they have to reload it's quite funny oh where did these guys come from whoa so many of them there you go he's dead uh, I've changed this room, and actually, I've, what I've done is I've added uh, these pillars because this room seemed really empty, and uh, I tried to fill it with something. I might actually add something else in the end, but for now, it's like that. Um, let's quickly fast forward to. Actually, what I'm gonna do just no clip through here because I don't feel like going through the ventilation. I'm quick, quickly gonna get to the city because uh, I have a lot of stuff to show there, and I don't have too much time. So yeah, this quickly get to this level. Uh, I've also added these water puddles, well, kind of, but they are for some reason through this water. So not supposed to be there yet, but yeah, it's a small bug, so don't mind that. Uh, I've updated a lot of materials, such as uh, the ma mainly the metallic materials, such as these. They are now using a lot more uh, accurate metallic shader on them, not, not shader, but accurate metallic maps and shit. So they look a lot better now and more how they're supposed to, I guess. 
Uh, I've done the same with some other assets, such as the cars in the city level. They have updated textures on them as well, and uh, updated materials. So for example, this door, as I have no ammo, this door also requires a key to be opened. Uh, not a key, but like something like a key card. So what you can do is you can find the keys and shit, and you can bring them over, and then you can unlock the door. Alright, so let's get going to the city. And uh, there's a lot of new stuff there, trust me. I have uh, added an, a whole new part of the city level, like I've added the apartments part. And that's uh, the screenshot of the city in the evening atmosphere. I've also completely changed the sun angle, if you notice. Like, the sun used to be uh, on the right side of the screen, like more towards where the train station is. But right now it's, going, it's coming from a completely different angle. So uh, this was done just to provide overall better lighting model for the city and for the game itself. So let's wait for this thing to load, because I think this is one of the biggest levels, so this will take a while. Oh, okay, we're here. And holy shit, my FPS is low right now for some reason. But yeah, uh, this level, as you can see, the lighting here is also updated. It's a lot more like evening atmosphere. And as you can see, the AIs, they can now crouch, they change positions. And their behavior is overall better. Okay, now you know what? I'm gonna cheat. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't feel like looking for health right now and shit. So I'm gonna just cheat and advance forward as fast as I can. Who needs backup? I heard you. There you go, he's dead. <sighs> yeah, they take a while to kill right now. I also, like, slightly updated the difficulty. And the difficulty became a bit more harder now, I guess. Purely because the AIs then are more smart and they will change positions. It'll make it, it'll make it so it's harder to kill them. And let's see, what kind of sniper do I have? Oh, I have a scopeless one. Oh, it's alright, I guess. I'll just use a scopeless one. You know what? I'll, t I'll put you out of your misery with RPG, why not? There you go. I really don't feel like aiming towards him. So, as this guy as well, shooting at me with a sniper, how dare you? Okay, that guy's annoying, where is he? You. Jesus Christ, he's so far away, he still can shoot me. As my gun jams. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with this M4? I have to switch it. He's jamming too much. Been using it for too long. Okay, that guy is dead. So, uh, the city. What I've added, what I've remade, I've remade the beginning part of it here. Uh, I've added a whole new block over here, uh, which the player is open to explore. Because back then, uh, you could only access this uh, part of the city level only if you walk all the way around from here. And many people would like not notice it or like avoid it purely because it wasn't too obvious that you can go here. But right now, I made it so this part uh, you notice before you go over there. So you pretty much are open to go in this area before you can advance to the next part of the level. So pretty much I made uh, I updated the level design and made it more easy for player to navigate into the areas he hasn't been to before and just made it generally like scale it up I guess this level. There's a lot more to do now. So let's go towards that direction and that's the main city park where uh, a lot of stuff will happen especially in the prologue so stay tuned for that. I'll probably soon enough show you the prologue and oh my god wait you know what I need a different weapon right now because I need a sniper rifle. Who's shooting me? Oh my god, I missed blank, point blank range. Alright, so let me just take care of that guy quickly. Right, so what you can see right now is I'm using this uh, on screen drawn GUI scope. I guess, that, I guess that's what you can call it. Instead of a 3D scope. Now let me show you the difference quickly. If I go into settings and I just enable the 3D scope, you'll see what difference that makes. So you see right now I'm actually aiming with a 3D scope, but let me try and kill that guy. I think I killed him. Yeah, he, I killed him. So this is the 3D scope where you actually have a scope model in front of you. And uh, honestly, it is a bit buggy because sometimes it gets not positioned correctly because of the animation bug. So I prefer to play without it. So have a classic uh, 2D scope like this with a GUI. I mean the, the, the GOI texture drawn on, on top of the screen. So you can see this. Oh, what the fuck? Where did you come from? So the, the cars textures have been updated. Uh, I've made them uh, PBR accurate and made them so they are a lot more metallic and shit. So let's get going. Oh, that's the new AK. I'll play with AK for now because I played with M4 for too long. And where are you? I don't see you. What? Oh, there you are. How can he see me and I can't see him? Okay, he's dead. My god, there are more. They crouch now, which makes it a lot harder to spot them or kill them. 
that's a cool thing. Uh, I've added a scaffolding to this part of the building. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, Agent has made an amazing job making this scaffolding and it took me a lot of time to place it. As you can see this, it, it is modular, so each of these parts, he pretty much made like a, a small fragment of it and I duplicated it and I uh, placed it all around. And let me give myself health so I don't have that ab chromatic aberration effect. So yeah, uh, this scaffolding took a lot of time to implement and to create. So a big thanks to Adrian for making it because I, this took him a lot of time to make and for me to place around. Uh, anyway, let's get going. And uh, I will show you the most exciting part of this level, which is the apartment part, which is the new part completely. There you go. So, as you can see right there, there's a gate right there's a gate right now, and you can't go that way anymore. So pretty much the player. Oh my God, they're both crouching. That guy isn't. So pretty much, uh, I've added. What are you? There. So there's the gate, and uh, the gate can't be open. So you, the player has to go inside of the building now to to progress to the level. Wow, they all made the same death sound. Wow. Okay. So I blocked this part of the uh, of the city off, and the player can't go there anymore right now. But so what he has to do, he has to go inside of the building, and uh, this new part of the city level will be taking place from the apartments. So this is really cool. Like I tried to put a lot of details into apartments. I made a lot of. Uh, like small details around and shit and yeah, whoa what is going on here the texture is misaligned but okay whatever yeah uh, so this is the elevator uh, and you can actually ride the elevator Adrian has modeled this elevator and uh, it's pretty cool the way it works so you enter it and it pretty much rides to the new level and there's loading screen and it loads the next level so there you go we're inside and I'm gonna have I'm assaulted by enemies already so this is the apartments. Uh, it is a lot detailed. I've added these doors, which can be open. I also added the doorbells, which you can press just for fun. It's kind of funny. You can like interact with many things. Uh, I've added the light switches as well, like agent model those. Uh, a friend of mine, Joe, he made an amazing new substance for the walls. Like this wall right here, it's using an amazing substance. Probably one of the most detailed ones and one of my favorite one of my favorite ones. I really like this uh, new wall substance he made. So it's really cool. A big thanks to him for doing that. There you go, let's kill him. Quickly reload. Also, the new AK reload animations, they were animated by Hunt, so thanks to him for doing that. Shit, I'm pinned down. There you go. Also, so when you all walk into the apartments, you can actually see the uh, the part where you came from, which is the city, I mean, I mean the city park, and uh, generally that direction. So you can't go there anymore, because if you jump down there, you will die of the fall damage, because it's it's pretty high above the ground, so you will die. So you can't go back anymore, but you can still like observe the level, and just like, explore it and it is visually looking really nice and we just get that so I don't have to worry about it later uh, I've also done a place the reflection probe so you can see now they reflect the window reflections and if I would have SSR that would result even better reflection but unfortunately I have SSR disabled right now because I am recording and that would completely kill my FPS if I would do that so unfortunately I can't record on the, on the highest settings what are you doing okay let me just take them for again uh, so yeah this is the apartments uh, this is a new part as well. You can go over here. And uh, I've added the scaffolding part right here. And what I've also done is I've added this room that you have to go in. And the cool thing is here, to progress further on, you would have to break the wall. And I'm going to quickly do that and destroy the wall and try not to kill myself. So it breaks the wall and you're able to go through. Now, I will update that because right now it breaks in a pretty funny manner. So don't mind that. Anyway, let's quickly progress to the end of the level. And... There's a weird light here. I'll have to fix that. Uh, another elevator. Actually, let me just see outside the window. So that's the part that we saw uh, from the previous level before the gate. We saw this area and now we can actually enter it because now we're taking elevator down. So let's take the elevator down and it will bring us down as you can see. That's pretty cool. Oh, and they're really, really bright lights. I really like them. Yeah, this elevator model is really cool. It took like a lot of time for Adrian to make and for me to implement. Alright, so there you go. Kill that guy. Oh, and I also added the uh, made them with their eyes crying the glowy. It's pretty cool, I think. Take the fucker down. And my gun jammed again. <laughs> that's the scaffolding we were just on now. So that's the part where uh, we exited the wind from the window and went in that room and exploded the wall over there. 
so that's kind of cool and let me just walk over here to show you the part that we saw in front of the gate so that's the that's the door that we entered and we got in the building over there so that's pretty much the new extension i've added to this level maybe i will actually extend it even more at some point but for now i'll just keep it as the way it is, the way it is. and what are you doing right so uh that's pretty much the end of the city level nothing uh anything else i mean the remaining part isn't anything new so i'm guessing right now i will uh show you the new part of uh i mean just the new levels in general that uh, i work i'll show you some fragments from there uh i don't know if i'll use a face cam there and if i will comment over it i might just show like some general gameplay because yeah otherwise you know too much about it so yeah uh i will now pause the video and i will be back in about half a second so in the end I decided to record uh, the gameplays of the new levels without my face cam and without me talking so just to show off the pure gameplay and how those parts will be played so with that being said enjoy guys the rest of the video Exactly, our transporting. Do, do, do you know? Um, I'm not sure, but I heard some kind of new equipment for the guy. Uh, what's his name again? Danny Gray? Yeah, him. Wh whoever he is. I'm not sure what this equipment is used for. Oh, yeah. No clue either. Did you hear about what happened?
Target is in my sight. So that's about it for this update, as you can see, well as you saw, I kind of died there. So that was a bit of a fail by me, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. It was, uh, yeah, it was really a long time ago that I made the previous one, so I think the next one, next update will actually a lot sooner, be a lot sooner, so stay tuned for that. I will, I will be doing a lot of cool stuff for the next update. I will remake the forest level, slash mountain, well, yeah, the forest level, that will be remade. Um, some storyline stuff will be adjusted, I will make the prologue level and I will soon enough, uh, I think, release the official Red Alliance trailer that will uh, go for the green light project that I'm going to be uploading myself. So, soon enough, uh, I will be posting Red Alliance to green light officially by myself and uh, yeah, hopefully I won't run into any more issues with green light like I did last year. So yeah, that's about it for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Yeah.